The Earth Splits. Spike! Can we turn back? Spike! All we see is water, no matter where we look. Don't cry, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's gotta be nearby. But we're already out of food. This is the last berry we have. That's the last one? Give it to me! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! What's going no. on? <laughs> Beautiful land! I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend! There's plenty to eat just up ahead! <laughs> <laughs> oh, mice! Happy haunting! <laughs> land! Land! Beautiful land! Oh, 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 how I missed you, land! Hold on! Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, but, but running? We're not running. Nope, not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh, they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnapped our entire family. Uh, everyone. And uh, now they're hunting me and my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. Poor us. <laughs> Milky, What's up? poor us. Oh, uh, yeah, poor uh, us. Oh, yes, poor oh, us, poor oh, miserable so little hungry. creatures. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> So go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of, the Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh, blah. Wow, big eggs! <laughs> um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? Those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the Spots and Stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Well, we gotta go. Thanks for your hospitality, Toodles. Toodles. Come on, brother. Come on, come on, little Hey, guys. We need to go on a mission for reconnaissance. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you, to do reconnaissance. <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. Why don't you go and help the girls? La, 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles. And we cannot That's wait. not fair! I want to go on a reconnaissance mission, too! I mean, after all, it was my idea! Koopa, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on! I wonder, do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them! Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? How are you? Nice 
flew ooh, here. Ah, Hi. Ooh, ah, ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, let us out. <laughs> Spots monster and stripes monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? Us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hid it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba, we have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find a missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa, I know him. That silly <laughs> villain from mice. our forest. <laughs> but what's he doing here? Let's follow him. What a brilliant idea! Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> now, spots and stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. Well, if you say so, then let's keep flying! The treasure awaits us. Of course! It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spike, what do we need a four for? <laughs> I guess you're right, huh? <laughs> hey, Billy. Come on, let's move. Get out of here. Hey, we're overloaded. What are you doing? Get out of here, Kuba. Yeah, go away. Look, there's your man. Aha. Get those imposters. so much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well, but there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one, and it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, disaster struck, and the Earth split apart. Parts of the Earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? What are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby. Oh, 
What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. Okay, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd. Uh... <laughs> how's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you. Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many! In Kubor, Kubor's just one! Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh. I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was. Until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh. Hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Well, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes, and when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Uh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor uh, was ordered to guard. 
Uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes, Kubor really wants that. It looks... It looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu, the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> Be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. It's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Boy, what's up? <laughs> no! Your flower! We know it's ours! <laughs> <laughs> you Give that up. back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. <laughs> Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. What are you looking at? Well, hmm. 
have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. The tree pear. The wind is getting stronger. We need to find bigger rocks so the ship doesn't blow away. Uh-huh. Check it out. There's a good rock for the ballast. Uh. Hey, let me help you out with that. Uh, hey, Martin. Why don't you try to find a spring? Uh. <laughs> Or otherwise, uh, our water will run out. Uh, all right, all right, go heave house. Yeah. Hey, hey, feeling! Ooh, Wake up already! <laughs> hey, feeling! Let him sleep, Milky. We can't fly in this weather. Anyway, when he's sleeping, he's not eating. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> see. Let's see if we can find some food. What's that strange animal? <laughs> animal. That's a hare. But a lot plumper and with a long tail. And he's hopping through the trees with a pouch on his tummy. And there seems to be a hare in his pouch as well. Oh, I remember. That's called a tree kangaroo. A wallaby. My dad told me all about that animal, and there's even a legend about it. Once upon a time, there were wild animals with quite long tails. They were called kangaroos. They jumped around the earth, and they carried their babies in pouches. There was a baby kangaroo, and it was called a joey. And the joey couldn't jump very far. But one day he learned that at the top of the very highest cliff, there is a magical wallaby stone, which grants a wish only once every hundred years. So the Joey decided to climb all the way up the cliff. It was a long and difficult journey for a little kangaroo, but he managed to climb up the wallaby stone. He made a wish. And afterwards, he began to jump very high and very far, not only on the ground, but also in the trees. They began to call him Little Kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, or a wallaby. I wish we'd find a magical stone. That's just what we need now. Then we could wish for help, and we could get Lily back home even faster. <gasps> Did you hear that, Milky? That cliff over there has a magical stone that grants wishes. Uh huh. But where do we find it, Spike? <laughs> um. Hey, that's it. Look over there. Look. 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 Hi there. You're a good jumper. Look what I can do. Huh. Huh. Oh wow. That was cool. I am Marnik. But who are you? They call me Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo, a wallaby, the best jumper in Australia. Uh, well, soon I'll be the best jumper. Huh, huh. <laughs> Woohoo! Jump over here. Oh! Back into Mama's pouch. Back in the pouch. Uh, uh, back in the pouch. But I can jump all by myself. I'm big now. <sighs> So lucky. You get to ride in a pouch. I'd like to try riding in a pouch. Even if it were just once. Huh. I've got an idea. You can quietly jump in the pouch instead of me. Then I can practice on my own. All right? <laughs> Spike! Ah! Ah! 
Oh, we're never gonna make it up there! All we need to do is find ourselves some ninny who's gonna show us the way to get up there. Then the magic wallaby stone is gonna get us out of here! <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Look at me! Freedom! Finally! The most impressive jumper in all of Australia! Hooray! Hey, Spike, maybe he <laughs> can help us? Hey, that's true. He is a good jumper. Uh, uh, hey, yo, what's your name, huh? I'm Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo. Listen, and you? jumping on trees is for wimps. But if you climb that big rock over there, now that's where it's at, my little friend. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but I bet you're too little. There's no way you could do that, could you? Me? You think I'm too little? Listen, you, I can easily jump up there and show everyone I'm not a baby, especially my mama. Oh, what are you waiting for, then? <laughs> Come on, kangaroo. <laughs> Let's go, huh, wormaroo, or whatever your name is. Come on and show everyone what you can do, man. <laughs> yeah, show us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, kid, what do you see? Is there a wallaby stone up there or something else? You see it? Wallaroo! Will you please toss the rock down to us? Hey, buddy! Where did it go? A wallaby stone? It's the highest stone up here. This is the wallaby stone. I'm standing on oh, it. Oh, you don't say. Uh, that rock up there is the wallaby stone? Oh, come on. Let's go, Milky. We gotta wait for it to warm up and then convince Phyllin to take us all the way up there. Hey, what about me? Wait for me! Just come down the same way you got up there! It's easy! Jump, hop, jump, hop! But we're out of time. We got stuff to do. Hey! Bye-bye. Yeah. And while you're up there, don't go asking any riddles! Hold on, but wait for me! Why are you leaving me all alone? Uh, uh, Mama! Joey, wouldn't you like to take a bath? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you're such a little piggy, aren't you? <gasps> but you're not my little precious Wallaroo. No, I'm Mardik. I'm sorry, ma'am. But where is Wallaroo? He didn't want to ride me in the pouch anymore. He's grown up now and wants to jump on his own. So he's out practicing as we speak. Wallaroo! My Joey! How did he get on the cliff? We must hurry! <gasps> it's coming from over there! Somebody needs our help! Tig, reset the ballast! Let's untie the ship! Hurry! We need to get up there before the storm starts! for helping my little Wallaroo. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I won't trick you ever again, I promise. Mama was so worried, my son. But if you are able to climb that cliff, then that means that you really are big now. So we can start to practice jumping on the great big eucalyptus tree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best mama in the whole world. Goodbye, kids! Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you! Thank you! Bye. 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 Bye! Bye! Thank you so much, everyone! Come back soon! We'll 
jump on the highest eucalyptus tree together. <laughs> I want to make a wish. I want treasure. I want all the no, treasure. I want a ship. I want no, it all. I want treasure. <laughs> no, wait. Quiet, everyone. I wish for the great treasure from the monkey tribe. Ready? Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, I get it, fine. I bet that this is all because of that bouncing tree kangaroo baby. That little baby must have already made a wish. He went and wasted our wish. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to wait another hundred years. We failed. Oh, let's get out of here. Hoot hoot, mice, 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 hoot hoot, mice, hoot hoot, 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 hoot <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one, and uh, whoa. Who fell down from the sky? How interesting! Who are you? Stay away from me! How did I get here? <laughs> if I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home. Home sweet home. <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. <laughs> oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there. <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend all around, we'll hear that great sound. Come on and sing along. Feel free to take a chance. Sing and do it round. Meanwhile, you dance. Come on, don't miss out. You can join in our fun. Look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask, come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> 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 
Bob. And he has the nerve to go and laugh at us? Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music! Hmm. I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree, right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> Now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, now, this is my forest too. Oh! Cass, come on! You can do it! It's almost like dancing! Come on, dance away! Huh? Oh! 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 Uh, no! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> see who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. 
You see? No one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. And a liar, too. I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend. You dumb little animal. Come on. Did you really trip him up? I, I, uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I, was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello! This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys! Look over there! There she is! Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're pretty good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> We're going to get some fruit. We'll be back soon. We know what soon means to you guys. The Royal Aroma. Oh, who's there? Huh? You're so cute. Who are you? Don't be scared. My name is Yara. And this is Lily and Mila. <laughs> My name is Pasa. Do you need some help? Okay. <laughs> My home isn't far away. <sighs> this smells so good. What exactly is it? That's some pollen. For fragrances. For fragrances? How interesting. Yeah. I make delicious aromas called Pasa Aroma out of pollen and nectar. I use a very old recipe book. <sighs> That is so amazing. It reminds me of the smell of 1,000 incredibly pretty flowers. Oh, what a wonderful smell indeed. Yes, but it can't compare with the magnificent King's aroma. The only one who knew how to make it was my brother Soma. But my brother was a real master of anything and everything to do with fine herbs. He knew every single recipe. But then one day, Without warning, the Great Flood carried him off the sea. <gasps> and since then, I haven't ever seen him again. Oh, Pasa, I'm so sorry. Come on, step up, come on! Don't miss out! Come get your different fragrances. All are most wonderful. They're bright, they're delicious, they're flowery. Wow. <laughs> By the way, friends, my name is Opa. Don't forget that name now. Very, very soon I'll be the best aroma master in all of Australia. Ew, this one smells <clears throat> not quite right. What do you mean? Which one doesn't smell right? But this smells really great. Aroma Opa is black cardamom, guava steam, David Sonia, manuka, and of course, macadamia. Uh, I don't know. Somehow, pasas just seem kind uh, of so much better. Uh huh. Pasas are better. Pasas are more delicious. Fooey, you don't know anything. What's wrong with him? Uh. Don't pay attention to him. Alpa just can't seem to get any of his fragrances to smell just right. But you know what? You all helped me, so I have a surprise for you. I want to welcome you to my <laughs> special spa. <gasps> what about the others? They're waiting for us. Mila, we'll be really quick, okay? <sighs> oh, come on, girls, a real bath, a nice warm bath. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> trouble! Trouble! Come quickly! The flowers are sick! 
fungus! It's a fungus! They're all gone! It's a sunny fungus! It'll destroy all the flowers soon enough! And if there aren't any flowers, then there won't be any pasarama either! Or spas! Or aroma baths! Oh, no! Wait, hold on. Uh, is there any way that we can cure it? Cure it? That's a great idea! We can cure the flowers from the fungus! I heard it said once a long time ago, a long time ago, that there were these huge flowers called monkey cups. And all those monkey cups gave off a magical pollen which was able to miraculously cure flowers from the sooty fungus. But then, the great flood occurred and we suddenly became an island. Legend says that the magical monkey cups still grow there, but no one can manage to reach that island by swimming. Well, if we're not able to swim there, then perhaps we could... We could fly there? Fly there? That's a great idea! Of course we can fly over there! Maybe our flying ship can... Uh, uh, maybe, um... Maybe you can take Pasa to get the healing pollen? And I'll stay here and try to save the flowers that are left. <laughs> no problem. I'm ready. Let's do this. Uh, wait, I forgot to take my baskets back inside. I'll do it. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, where did you disappear to? And why do you smell so good? That's wonderful. Hey, boys. This is Pasa. <gasps> she makes these wonderful fragrances and incredible aromas. And she's in need of our help. That's it! Goodness, it's so cool! Over there! That's them! Look, it's the magical monkey cups! <laughs> ah! Ah! Someone help me! <gasps> Pasa! Don't move! <laughs> Don't go anywhere near these plants, they're dangerous! <sighs> Let me give you a hand. <sighs> You've gotten so big! I can't believe my eyes! We all thought you were lost! <clears throat> well, thankfully I didn't drown in the Great Flood. The water carried me to this island, but I couldn't find my way back home. Ah, I've been stuck here the whole time. What a nightmare! That monkey cup almost swallowed me up whole! Well, actually, monkey cups are a predatory plant. But Opa told us that they might save the flowers and that their cups might have magical pollen. But monkey cups don't even have pollen. And they definitely don't help cure anything. I think maybe Opa was mistaken. All right, let's get everything and head on back home. Hmm, that's weird. This is not a sooty fungus. This is... Wait, it's... This is nothing but paint! It's paint? But why would someone paint the flowers? Did Opa maybe want to get us off the island for some reason or another? <laughs> Opa is the greatest. Opa has thought of everything. Opa did it. Now everyone will only be able to get their fragrances from me. Opa, are you actually trying to steal the recipe book? S Soma, Pasa, uh... What? Were you hoping to never see us again? Ah. <laughs> Opa, stop! 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 Hoot! A mouse! Food! A mouse! Hoot! 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 Someone help! Someone help me! Oh, no! Opa! We have to save him! <laughs> well, little sis, are you ready? Like when we were kids! <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> 
I can't see anything. I can't see. I can see. I can see again. Why'd you do that? Why did you save me? If it weren't for your sneaky plan, Possa wouldn't have ever found me on that island. It's kind of strange, but I owe my being saved to you as well. I'm sorry. I've just never been able to get the fine herbs just right like you always seem to. I was really jealous of you, and I decided to steal the book of recipes to learn the secret. There's actually no secret that can be learned. You see, once upon a time, long, long ago, all the animals came to the Cuscuses for the wonderful and fine aromas. However, one day, the Cuscuses argued over whose aromas were the best of them all, and their souls filled with envy, spoiling even the most perfect aromas. No one came back to the Cuscuses. The recipes were all but forgotten, so King Cuscus, the wisest of the Cuscuses, ordered that all the recipes be collected and put into one recipe book. And I hid the most important recipe on the very last page. You can mix any aromas you like, you see, but there is one trick that makes all the difference. Do it with love. Pasa, hey, so, you know, I was wondering, can we take a bath? <laughs> But of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Try this, please. That's the stuff. Now, now that, that is, is a real, real royal, royal aroma. aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Koopa! <laughs> Secret to any task is love and friendship and never envy. Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory! I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear... I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel! duel. <laughs> oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick. Pack it up. Don't be stingy. Yeah! <laughs> Someone save me, please! Ah! Someone help! Oot. Oot. My suit. Oot. Mice. 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 What happened? Hey, where did the sun go? Oh, I can't take it. What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old, too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned! Better run away, or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are 
are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> me. <laughs> Villain! Where are you? Villain! Hey, but where did he get to? He must have flown off to eat something. Villain! Hello! If we let Spots and Stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, we'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. Okay, I think, I think we lost him. Uh-huh, I think we lost him. Ooh. Utterly outrageous. Yes, there's no greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> uh. Hey, <gasps> don't stand around. Let's go. Never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day! If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for! Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure! Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it! Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Mike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird. Your friend. It's a deal! Great! Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, I'll just show you. Uh-huh, we'll show you. <laughs> Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? 
Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. Oh. Oh. One, two, and pull! Oh. Oh. oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah! Oh, Come help us! us. <laughs> I am helping you. Helping you keep a rhythm. One, two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never, ever change. I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. Hoot! Hoot! Follow that ship, you bird! Hoot? Stop, stop, stop! Who do you think you're ordering around? Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. Imagine spending the whole winter here? Uh. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? We are friends of Lily the monkey. We're helping her find her way back home. And we are the Voguing Penguins, Penguins from, from the, the House, House of, of Wind Pingo. Pingo. And I am Stella, the house mother. And this is Hernando and Creon. Are they your children? <laughs> <laughs> no. We, we just, just really, really like, like to vogue. vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. We're going to the ice ball. It's going to be held in Queen Maud Land. <sighs> I can see that you've run into a slight <coughs> issue. <coughs> oh, la la. No way. This isn't just a little issue. No way. This is a big problem. Not at all. House of Gwynpingo is famous not only for its style, 
but for its hospitality as well. Uh, uh, but what about the ball? Stella, we can't be late. Hernando, I'm surprised at you. Leaving our guests to suffer on our island? Oh my, that just isn't right. Wait for us here. I think that I might know what to do. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Finally, land. <laughs> it's just so, 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 so much colder than, than the ocean. Stop whining. We'll warm up soon enough. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot. Ah. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, very interesting. Follow me. We really need to think about how to get our ship out of here. Or at least find out how to warm up. You see that? Something shining. Let's get a closer look. Take a look at that. What if we break off a couple of them to use? They could be like levers for the ship. <laughs> when you work, you'll warm up right away. One, two, and push! You hear that? The snow is cracking! Hey! Get our ship out soon enough! Hey! I don't think that's the snow cracking! Well, what exactly is your brilliant idea? Look! The lava from the volcano is still warm. We need to take some of the warm rocks and lay them all around that wooden bird. <gasps> Ooh, la, la. That's great. The snow and ice will melt and it can fly away from here. Uh, just one problem, Stella. Uh, how do we get the rocks back down there? <gasps> Ooh, look, villain. Aren't we lucky we just happened upon these hot rocks? <laughs> what do you mean? Tell me, who exactly are you? I'm a friend of your guests. Uh, we were flying behind them, but then we landed. Uh, we saw that they were in trouble and that they needed help. They said that you guys also want to help them out. Well then, let's help them together. Ha, what a great idea! <laughs> together! It's more fun! <laughs> Yeah! Uh, faster, faster, faster! You two are penguins, not snails! Just look at him! That Tasman is a real commander! Uh-huh. A commander who's willing to burn our nest to a total crisp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're such trusting penguins! These hot stones are actually for us, not them! So we don't freeze! Your guess. Silly spots and silly stripes! Figure it out! They can fend for themselves! <laughs> Let them sit in the snow! <laughs> <sighs> Great! No one deceives the house of Gwyn Pingo and gets away with it. I know exactly how to beat them. Hernando, Creon, follow me. Let's give them the totem pole. Is anyone still doubting my magnificent leadership skills? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's them! Aha! Oh. 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 Uh -huh. You liars! You won't get away from the house of Gwyn Pingo! Hernando, Creon, Totem Pole! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
These losers are all friends now? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not at all surprised? Us? We're not losers. We'll show you. Everyone together. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, Desmond, I think you might have ended up stealing too many rocks here. Uh, Hold on tight! Hold the mess! Hold the mess! Ah! Well, I didn't know holding the nest was so hard for you. Hey, how about you just jump off? Then you can show those losers your leadership skills. Well, I'm sure warm now. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, it stylish. was. <laughs> we have to think up a new dance to honor our victory. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <Lala. laughs> Do you want us to fly you to the ball on our ship here? Oh, that would be just lovely. I never arrived at a ball in a <laughs> flying ship. Perhaps you would like to learn how to dance the Vogue. It's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. Hernando, hurry on. Wonderful idea. My friends, would you like to join the house of Gwyn Pingo? Of course you would. <laughs> then let's go, my friends. We'll show you the moves on the way there. The ice ball is over there in Queen Maudland. And now, turn your attention to the voguing house of Gwyn Pingo! Oh, I think the house of Gwyn Pingo beats everyone! No one has ever made such a grand entrance before! Such elegance has never been seen! Stranger, you see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! Someone seems to be in danger! Aren't you getting sick of yelling? 
Don't you realize? No one can hear you scream out here. Oh, but he's so small. And bright white. He desperately needs our help. <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. you give me back my lunch hey you kids you up there i'm going to teach you a lesson <laughs> Whoa. let's land you're safe here hey you up there bring me back my lunch hi little buddy i'm leo tell us what's your name Atback. And I want to go home to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. I ended up getting lost. Don't <laughs> cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. Thank you. Look down there. He looks exactly like Abak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Abak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? <sighs> I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! Oh, ow, ow, ow! Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. Elephant seal babies are always black. But white babies are sea calves. Uh, so that means Apak's a sea calf? Mm hmm. He's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> We look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, some animals got tired of living on land and they decided to live in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper and farther than the others, suddenly grew long snouts. They were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids. Bring me back my lunch. How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left, and finally you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No, sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay, then Tig and I will take Apak, and you guys can guard the ship. 
But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apak. And I'm Motney. Are you two out here all by yourself? Yeah, we're helping our friend Apak get back home to the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apak! Oh, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apak's parents are waiting, and so am I. Uh, are you a hard shield? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such, such great big flippers, huh? Ah, oh, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey, why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? You know, <laughs> I think that this heart seal isn't really a heart seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard! Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> oh. Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary! <sighs> 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 Your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe yeah. and sound. Yeah. Uh, uh. Mama, I miss you both so much. Epic, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, that I'll swim to the taiga to visit you. Papa! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tasman, why are you looking at us like that right now? Hmm, no reason. I'm just thinking about who I'm going to eat first. <laughs> what do you mean, eat first? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have seen yourselves. You were so petrified. <laughs> so, does that mean that you're not going to eat us? Who needs a bag of bones like you? Hey, look! Land ho! Hoot hoot. Huh? Ah. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. The Paints of Africa. Interesting. What exactly is this place? That's why we're doing reconnaissance, Tig, to figure that out. I was just wondering, 
we always end up running into some really strange looking locals. Animals that have beaks uh, uh, and birds. Some who fly and some who don't. So I wonder who we'll run into here. Maybe uh, some kind of five-winged duck-billed creature. You're a duck-billed creature, Tig. Hey, do you see these normal looking hoof prints? It must be some kind of deer. Let's go and meet them. Hooray! All right, we're solid ground. We, found we, found we did it! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Enough fooling around. Go out there and find us something to eat. Ooh. Okay, fine. But what are you gonna do? I guess I'll keep an eye on Philin. Uh, and keep your eyes peeled. Figure out where stripes and spots have landed. A deer, you said. Ha! Look there. Spots just like yours. Maybe he's a strange leopard. Oh, <laughs> we have guests, Zako. <laughs> we have guests, man! I am pleased to meet you. <laughs> I am Jiro. And I'm not a leopard. I'm a giraffe. <laughs> this here is Zako. <laughs> and he's a pet. We have guests! Nice to meet you. I'm Leo, and this is Tig and Kuba. What are you drawing up on that wall over there? That's such a big picture. We're not drawing. We're writing. You could say we're artists. We're artists. We're artists. We're writing. Zuffle. We're writing, 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 this writing, writing. This picture is called Sunrise in Africa. Ah, yes. Writing, writing, <laughs> writing, writing, writing. It isn't finished just yet. I hope that we're going to have enough paint in order to finish it. To finish it! Enough paint! Magical paint! Magical paint! Magical uh, paint! Zako uh, is asking if you are familiar uh -huh. with the legend uh -huh. of the magical paint. Hmm. We know a lot of legends, but that one is new to us. Oh, well then. Come and sit down with us. Uh -huh. Zako and I were about to take a break anyway. Enough for Zako! <gasps> Did you draw all those as well? We write, we write, we I write! Mean, did you write that? No, no. These are ancient drawings. Allow me to tell you all about the legend. A long time ago, when Africa was still quite young, a wildfire spread from coast to coast and turned this colorful land into a gray and scorched wasteland. It was a sad, sad time. Everything everywhere became bleak, all shades of gray. And then the spirit of the savanna gathered up the last of its strength and created a most magical paint. The animals painted our Africa once again, and nature came back to life. And that is the legend of the magical paint. So if these paints bring nature to life, if we draw ourselves some food, then we'll be able to feast to our heart's content. Hey, but then why didn't the painting come to life? Listen, do you have fur in your ears? The giraffe even said that his painting isn't even finished yet. Come on, before somebody sees us. Before someone sees, before someone sees. Milky, but why are you repeating what I just said? Did you hit your head or something, man? That wasn't me. Brad, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, that means it's probably the magical paint talking to us. Magical paint talking, magical paint talking, talking. What? But that can't, can't be. Can't be, can't be. Hey, Spike, let's get out of here while we're still in one piece. Still in one piece. But I think well, I might have heard piece. that voice somewhere today already. I recognize it. We write and write and write and write. Uh -huh. So someone was trying to scare us. Oh, gotcha, chatterbox. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Milky, get the paints. Gotcha, chatterbox. What happened, Zako? Get the paint, Milky. Get the paint. Milky, Milky. The mountains. Those creatures took off with all of our paint. Took off with our paint, the magical paint. We'll get your paint back for you. Hey, come back. 
You only think of yourselves. Come on, give back the paint. I'm telling you. <laughs> You'll have to catch us first. Frank, get back here. Uh, they're catching up to us. Uh, they're gonna get us. the life. <laughs> and then Tasman will be able to eat it. You first. Ooh. Ooh. Tasman doesn't want to break a tooth. One, two, three. Create the apple for me. It's nothing but regular paint. But, but it can't be. This, this, this is magical paint. Uh, I don't understand what happened. Spike, uh, maybe we need to say some magic words or something? Abracadabra! What is wrong with you, Milky? <laughs> you really are nuts! Uh, the legend mentioned the spirit of the savannah. Maybe we gotta ask it for help. What do we do now, Leo? Well, we have to bring back the magic paint. Uh-huh. But where do we even look for it? Good job, Kuba! You found some tracks! Oh! Spirit of Savannah! Please! Bring this apple to life for us so that we may snack upon it! Oh, that must be it. The spirit of the savannah. Thank you for coming to us. Oh. Hey, the spirit looks just like Kobai, don't you think? Give us back the magical paint right now. Uh, we need it for ourselves. After all, we just painted an apple, as you can clearly see. Tasman, but what if it's a... However, Tasman will gladly exchange these very magical paints for any supplies you may have to offer. I'll exchange you, you thief! Give us that paint! I'll only exchange them for food! <laughs> Let's get out of here! <laughs> you... You won't be able to finish the painting. We tried, but we couldn't save the magical paints. The magical paints? But those paints weren't the magical paints. Magical paints! Wait, they weren't? Weren't magical paints, Frank? You mean you really thought that they were the magical paints from the legend? You mean they weren't? But of course not. That's nothing but a fairy tale. Fairy tale! Although it is true that we can't finish the painting now, we'll have to find a solution soon. <laughs> we can make new paints. In fact, you can help us. It's quite easy. All we need is just a little bit of imagination and a touch of inspiration and the most magical colors of Africa. Drink! 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 
Stop your whining feathers. You drank two days ago. Oh, 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 three. All right, all right. There's a lake ahead. Let's land there. The fastest runner. Drink. Oh, drink. Oh, oh, oh. Shoo, oh, oh. that's my lake. If you want to drink, first you have to beat me in a race. Then you can have some water. Okay. We'll go find another lake. Just go ahead and try. The next lake is very far away. Ooh. It'll take you two Ooh, listen, days. Uh, the filling isn't gonna last that long. <sighs> hey, you, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> How far do we have to run? It's not that far. Just down to that rock. All right. But we'll need to stretch a bit first. Follow me. Great, I'll do the same. Yeah, I need to stretch as well. One, uh, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Tasman? Uh, how are we going to beat him? We're going to set a trap. And you, Featherhead, I want you to stay there. Keep watch for us. Ooh. Stop there! The Asayara Lake is all mine. If you want to drink, then you're gonna have to race me, and you're gonna have to win. <laughs> but what kind of weird rule is that? It's probably just what they do here. So if you beat me, <laughs> you can have some water. Okay, fine. Leo, you go. No one can beat you. Let me guess. You need to stretch first as well? Hey, so I uh. heard that you're all planning to race the cheetah? Did I hear correctly? Yeah, we're just stretching a little first. Well, you know, many a creature has tried to beat him before, but no one has succeeded. Not even me. Ha, huh, but you're a turtle. The cheetah is like Leo and me. We're fast cats. Yes, <gasps> leopards <gasps> are quite fast, but cheetahs are faster. <gasps> faster than Leo? Like a bolt of lightning? Listen to the legend and learn for yourself. Long ago in Africa, there was a boastful cheetah. He loved saying that he could run faster than any other creature. And so one day he invited everyone to race him and he proceeded to beat them all. But the hippo happened to notice that the cheetah runs fast, but gets tired quite quickly. And so the hippo came up with an idea. He would challenge the cheetah to run at dawn, all the way down to the large rock. But the hippo had a trick up his sleeve. He went and asked the elephant to take the rock further down to the river. And then, when the race began, the cheetah only ran as far as to where the rock had been before it was moved. The hippo made it all the way down to the rock and taught the cheetah a lesson about bragging. <gasps> so that means that we can beat the cheetah if we run farther than he's used to? <laughs> all right, uh, one, two, three, stretch. <laughs> well then, are you ready to race now? Listen up, cheetah. They say that no one in Africa is faster than you. Of course not. What else do you expect? Then how about if we don't just have a simple race? Let's have a championship. A championship? I like that idea. Woohoo! What do we do? Ha! Huh. We run past the rock all the way to the baobab tree. Then whoever wins is the owner of the whole lake. Hmm. Owner of the whole lake? Well... What's the matter, Cheetah? Are you scared? Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll run in the championship race. However, I get to pick who'll race me. I think I'll pick him. You picked Kuba? Uh-huh. We're running to the faraway Baobab tree. Whoever beats Cheetah will be the owner of the whole lake. No, but we know that the traps aren't set up over there. Hey, Melky, go and race with them. Spike and I will set up some new traps. 
And make sure you get there first, you got it? Ah. Hey, Melky, are you gonna run in the race as well? <laughs> Go ahead and snicker, uh-huh. Soon that whole lake will be ours. Look at them all. A chubby little boar, <laughs> a baby Martin. Oh, I know. How about if we throw a turtle in as well? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I still haven't finished running the last race. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, drink. No drinking. <laughs> no one drinks from my lake. You hear me? I'm gonna win. Get lost. On your marks, and get set, go! Woohoo! Yeah, I'm the fastest! Yeah! Woohoo! I'm gonna beat my own record! <laughs> Oh, finally, the last one's set up. <laughs> They're going to run right through our first trap. Uh, but how is Milky gonna know where the new traps are? <sighs> What's wrong with me? Come on, Cheetah, you're the fastest! <clears throat> I'm getting so tired! <laughs> So tired. Oh. oh no! No way Cheetah is gonna lose to some chubby boar! One must always treat others how one wishes to be treated oneself. I officially declare that the Asai Ara Lake is open. <laughs> Drink. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone. Shame on you. Shame on you for being so greedy. I promise that. I won't be greedy anymore, and I won't brag. Kuba, hey, look, I'm really sorry that I laughed at you. You really are strong and such a good runner. Kuba says he forgives you. He's a bore. See you later. Come visit again soon. The Asai Ara Lake is always full of water for our friends. <laughs> and you can come run with me. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Help me, someone. <laughs> Get me down. <laughs> Look, I finally found the little bugger. Come then go. Please, Get him down. Get me down from here. Milky, what are you whining for? <gasps> uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jasmine, buddy! Oh, I get can't it down, take right? it! You fell into your own trap! Ah! No! <laughs> you got trapped in your own trap as well! Now just be quiet! <laughs> I'll get you when I get down. <laughs> Villain! <laughs> Villain! Come here, you featherhead! Hurry up and save <laughs> us! Villain! <laughs> 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 A game for a rhinoceros. Look at him sleeping. You can't wake him up. It's your own fault. What did you expect, Tasman? You kept the poor owl flying all night long. It appears to me that somebody here is dissatisfied with something. No, no, no one here is dissatisfied with anything. I was merely uh, uh, sharing my opinion. Well, you should keep your opinions to yourself. Or otherwise. But come on, Tazzy, old pal. We're good friends now, I mean, aren't we? Why is this small fry bothering me like this? Get away! Shoo! Uh, Tasman, uh, uh, I think maybe the birdie just wants to make friends with you. Make uh. friends with me? I don't need anybody uh. trying to make friends with me, okay? Friendship equals weakness! Marty! Can you check the ropes? Aye, aye, Captain. Eee, eee. Hey, Koopa Buddy, you gotta wake up now. It's time to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to how much fun they're having. Maybe they're having some sort of party or something like that. <laughs> they're having so much fun. We should go and join in. Tig, but it's time for us to fly off now. Yeah, but all we do is fly these days, Leo. I've already forgotten how we used to play and have fun. Yeah, I have to admit, I would also like to play something. Okay then, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> hey there, you guys. Can we join in on your game? Sure, no problem. The more the barrier. <laughs> 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Would you look at that? It seems spots and stripes are here. Hey! You're playing a fun game! Well, well, well... Uh, 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 come on! Come on! Let's go and play with them, huh? Oh, please! You want to play? Sure. We can play. Hide and seek. We can focus on the hiding part. <laughs> psst, psst. Listen to my plan. We're going to kidnap the monkey and steal the ship for ourselves. That's a great plan, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we want the monkey? The monkey is the one who can show us where to find the treasure. Got it? Oh, I get it now. I get it. Then let's get going. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Can I join in the game? Well, okay. Uh... So what's your name, huh? Um, uh, Tonda. Well, okay, Tonda. Come play. The more the merrier. No, no, no. But not with us. You can't play with us. Hey, where are you going? What about the game? Hmm, strange. Anyway, want to play catch? <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. Hide and seek will be better. I really miss the days when we used to play hide and seek. Oh, yeah? Well, I call dibs. Go hide, I get to seek first. One, two, three. Tonda? But what are you doing? 
I'm hiding. <laughs> you're what? But you're way wider than the tree. If you hide there, Leo would find you straight away. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Tonda, what are you doing? He's gonna spot you from a thousand feet away. Uh, 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 Nine, uh, ten. <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! It seems you're a little big for the hiding part of hide and seek, huh, Tonda? Uh, uh, I'm really sorry. Well, why don't we just play a different game then? Good idea, Yara. As Mappa always says, wherever there are friends, a game can always be found. One piece. Uh, I've done it again. I always ruin everything. <laughs> Tonda, don't cry. First the giraffes ran away. <laughs> and now you guys want to leave. This always happens to me. I'm just too big for anything. Well, it's not so much that you're too big. It's just uh, you're too large. If only, oh, if only rhinos were still small like they used to be. <laughs> if only things were like before. Like before uh, how? What's wrong? Don't you know about the legend? We heard about the legend when our daddy told us about it. A long, long time ago, the savannah was home to the very first little rhinoceros. And he was teeny tiny, almost as small as a bunny rabbit. He went to the spirit of the savannah, and he asked for a special favor. He wanted to grow. He asked to be bigger and even bigger still. And the rhino got so big that he outgrew all of his enemies. He was proud to be so big, but he also outgrew all of his friends. He was worried that he might crush somebody's paw or maybe stand on their tail by accident. And so the rhino became sad. Nobody wanted to play games with him anymore. Then one day, the rhino met a little bird who was so lonely. His name was Oxpecker. The bird wasn't afraid, so he didn't try to fly away. Quite the opposite. The little bird was able to see that the huge rhino was a delicate soul who was sensitive and had a kind heart and wasn't frightening at all. And so the little bird and the rhino became friends and played together. Ever since then, the little oxpecker birds have been inseparable from the enormous rhinos. That's awesome! <laughs> Tonda, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not even the little oh. birds hey, will hey, be friends with me. <laughs> Tonda, but don't leave. <laughs> to be our captive. Uh, just hand over the monkey, would you? Just try and take her, little friend. Uh, but she's really big, Tasman. You can do what you want, but I'm out of here. Uh, 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 that makes two of us. Yeah, she's a little too big. Uh, 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 oh. 
Lily, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, Tonda and the little bird saved me. Uh. You drove away all of those annoying little flies. Thank you so much. What's that? You said you want to play a game with me? Really? <laughs> it looks like our friend Tonda <laughs> has someone to play games with. <laughs> Bye, Tonda! So long, Bye. Tonda! So long. Bye. Nice that the cute little bird has finally found her very own rhino. <laughs> and Tonda has finally found herself a good friend. <laughs>